Fita, did you uh, came across what uh, Erdogan said at a speech? Yeah, his words were quite out there, confronting the West and even mentioned, quote, we can invade Israel on an unexpected night, uh, end quote. Here's the thing with Erdogan. Erdogan is a piece of shit. Erdogan has been a U.S. puppet and an Israeli puppet for a very long time, right? So is Erdogan acting as a floodgate to let people come to his side, assuming that Erdogan is going to do something or if he's there to relieve pressure? OK, and for those of you that don't know, I've mentioned this before, but for those of you that don't know what the concept of a floodgate is, every dam in the world that is built has a floodgate. A floodgate is is something they build on the side to relieve pressure so the dam won't break right so they build a dam if water levels go too high and the pressure builds too much instead of letting the dam break because it will break if the pressure is too high and water starts rolling over the dam the erosion will take the dam down right they there's pipes usually sometimes the bottom of the the what do you call it the the dam uh, where there are turbines there and you know they're generating power with dams and stuff like this or inside the dam and in the wall of it or it's a floodgate going around that relieves the pressure further downstream they relieve pressure Erdogan in my opinion is a floodgate he is still a puppet of the US and a puppet of Israel okay their economy Turkish economy is collapsed the currency has collapsed like 95% the last 10 years accelerating okay they they back down from attacking Iran uh, from attacking Armenia when with Azerbaijan and Israel remember the first genocide of the 21st century happened a few months ago a few weeks ago right when Israel Turkey and Azerbaijan cleanse Nagorno-Karabakh of a hundred thousand plus Armenians right they said oh you can stay meanwhile while the tanks were rolling in if you take history into consideration Armenians had to leave because genocide was coming for them right and then a few weeks later we see Israel committing genocide on the Palestinians on uh, Gaza right so the first two genocide of the 20th century 21st century sorry the first genocide of the 20th century was Armenian genocide during World War one and was it Hitler that came out and said uh, after all who remembers the genocide of the Armenians and we saw the second genocide of the 20th century with the Holocaust and killing of gays lesbians uh, uh, communists the Poles and all the Romas and all that jazz and Jews right 21st century first genocide yeah Nagorno-Karabakh with Turkey, Azerbaijan, and Israel doing it. Second genocide, Israel doing it together. Israel being involved in two genocide of the 21st century. Oh shit, that's not a good record, right? But they were about to, Azerbaijan and Turkey with the help of Israel were about to attack Armenia, right? To take a land piece that is Armenian, that Armenia controls, that borders Iran right so they wanted to sever that link with Iran and Russia going through Armenia Iran moved their military to the border and turned Azerbaijan told Azerbaijan and Turkey to fuck off because if they attacked Armenia Iran would defend Armenia and attack them and they backed out back down right so keep in mind Erdogan has attacked Armenia has attacked Iraq has attacked Syria participated in the war destruction of Libya right in the last 20 years right all with the backing of the United States and Israel okay so Erdogan coming out and saying all this shit no one trusts Erdogan he's one of the least trustworthy person on the geo geopolitical realm Russia doesn't trust them even though they're dealing with them Iran doesn't trust them even though they're dealing with them okay so keep that in mind take everything that comes out of Turkey as uh, with a grain of salt and consider Erdogan a floodgate we'll see we'll see we'll see